Let's create a DFA for this language W, where W does not contain the substring AB, and our alphabet is A comma B. So the idea here is we want to track for when there's a B after an A. And we can do this using three states, as I'll show you right now. So let's create our initial state. We'll call this state one. And let's say we transition to another state. We'll call this state two. And you know, if we're creating a DFA, we have an input string. Given our alphabet A comma B, we have a string comprised of A's and B's. So we can feed this string into this program. So let's say we feed this A into our program. We follow the arrows, it goes to state one. Well, where does it go now? Well, we don't have any instructions for it. What we can do is we can write A on this arrow to say that when we encounter an A on this state, we go to state two. So this is useful because this is how we can create kind of algorithms. In this particular case, we want to find an algorithm for um, when our string does not contain the substring AB. In our string here, we found AB. It's right here. So this string would not be valid. But how do we write an algorithm to detect that using a, a DFA? So we can transition on A to state two. But let's think about this. Let's kind of go back. What are the conditions that need to be met for the substring AB to occur? Well, we first need an A, and then we need a B. So those are great clues for our, our DFA. First, we need an A, and then we need a B. So we created a third state here, uh, state three. So now what happens is when you feed a, A, B into the program. Let's just do A, B for now. We have our input string A, B. We feed A, B into our program. We go A to state two and then B to state three. That means that if we've reached state three, that means we have a B after an A or the substring A, B. So that's what we don't want. Now, what about uh, the other characters? In a DFA, every state has to have the full alphabet um, on it in an arrow of some kind. So our alphabet is A comma B. We have, on state one, we have an A arrow, but we need a B arrow. What happens if we have a B as our first letter? So what if this is B, A, B? Well, this is still, you know, inv invalid. It still contains the substring A, B. But do we really care if there's a B initially? We don't. Uh, so we're going to loop on B, which essentially means that we're going to stay in place. And this is because for the substring A, B to occur, our kind of our first initial trigger is the A. Once the A occurs, then we're looking for that B. Then once that B happens, then we know we, we have something. So in other words, without an initial A, a B means nothing in this scenario. But once we have an A, now we're looking for that B. But what if we have, so say we, now we're going on to state two. We see at state two, we have a B arrow, but we need an A arrow. So where does the A arrow come from? Well, let's say we have an input string. We start with A, so we get to state two, and then we have another A, and then we have a B. We still have our substring AB here, so theoretically it should get to the final state 3 and be invalid. But what do we do on this on this, uh, on this this second A? So we have our first A, uh, we go to state 2, and then our second A, we don't want to move. We want to stay on the current state, so we're going to loop on A on state 2. This is because an A after another A doesn't change the fact that we still have an A as our most recent character. You know, if we have A, 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 so on and so on, it doesn't matter because once we have a B, boom, then that's our, you know, that's our combination. There's no other possibility given our language. 
we can't input anything else after this a uh, besides you know a and b if we input another a okay we can just keep doing that forever and ever but the second we input the only other character in our alphabet b then boom the condition's met so we're just going to keep looping on a until we hit a b then we go to state three now state three doesn't have any arrows coming out of it um we can just loop on a and b here we don't like we already know that we have the substring a b if we have reached state three so therefore we don't need to uh do anything else here this is like if we took this string here and then we kept adding a's and b's to the end it doesn't matter because we have our substring a b here so the condition is you know already set in stone we already have it so now that we kind of have our, our algorithm here um, to detect if we have the substring a b what are the except states going to be so our language here says that w should not contain the substring a b on state three the substring contains the substring a b therefore the except state should be these two because the only time that our string contains the substring a b is when we are on state three therefore every other state that's not state three is fits our language it does not contain the substring a b um, if it were the other way around if we were saying that uh, w does contain the substring a b then that would be a different question and what we can do is reverse the states here so we can make state 3 an accept state because if we're looking at you know w containing the substring a b 3 is the state 3 is the only time that um are that uh, we know that w contains a b but that is that might be a little bit off topic let's uh put that back to how it was so that you don't get confused but this is our um, this is our entire DFA for this uh, for this problem. Let me just uh, bring it back to how it was. So remember, we have our accept states here. So this is the entire problem. Uh, let's test it with some uh, input strings to make sure that we're uh, correct. So let's first test it with let's say we have a a blank string. So I'll just you know I'll do a blank string. Uh, and then let's do a b the most basic test case let's do a a a a let's do b b b let's do b a b and you can do whatever you want to test uh, i i recommend you test many strings but for this video we're just going to do these um for brevity purposes so blank string uh, what's going to happen is uh, not, it doesn't really go anywhere, um, so it's it's going to accept because we don't have the substring a b. It's just going to go and sit here and do nothing. It's going to go to state one and move nowhere and immediately perfect. Um, so this is correct. Now what about uh, a b? So let's go to our initial state here, state one. We're going to cross off A, move along to state two, and then on B, we're gonna move to state three. So uh, now we're on state three, um, which is not valid, which makes sense. Now A, 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 A. Wow, those are some terribly written A's, but let's test it anyways. So erasing my green lines here. So we go on the first A, we go to state two. On the second A, we're still on state two. Third A, we're still on state two. And fourth A, we're still on state two. Because remember, we're following the arrows. We're just staying in place. Now, this is an accept state. Do we have the substring AB? No, we don't. So that makes sense. Let's do the next one, BBB. Oh, I erased that check mark. Sorry, that check mark should still be there. So for BBB, our first B, we loop on our, on our own, so we stay here. Our second B, we keep looping, because on B, we follow the arrow. Then on the next B, we loop again. 
So we're stuck in the same state that we started in, which is an accept state. Do we have the substring AB in this string? No, we do not. So that makes sense. Now our last string, BAB. So cross off the first B, we loop on our, on our own. We stay on, we stay on state one. Then on A, we follow the arrow, we go to state two. And then on B, we follow the arrow, we go to state three. This is not an accept state. Do we have the substring AB? Yes, we do, it's right here. So that makes sense. Um, so from the strings that I you know, thought of and tested, this makes sense. Um, however, I, I do know the answer myself and I know that this is correct. So um, <laughs> yeah, but this is the answer to the language. Uh, w does not contain the substring AB. It's a DFA for that language. Um, this should be everything relevant to the problem. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Thank you.